In this video we're going to look at order of operations. Recently in class I put up this question on the board. I put up 10 subtract 5 times 2 and I got two answers. Some students said I had to do 10 subtract 5 and 10 subtract 5 is 5 and then times by 2 gives me an answer of 10. And some other students said I had to do the multiplication first. So some students said I had to do 5 times 2 which is 10 and 10 take away 10 is equal to 0. Now a really straightforward sum like this should only have one answer. So to make sure that there's a universal order in which we do them in, we have to use the correct order of operations. Some people call it bod mass. So let's have a look at that now. This is the correct order of operations. You have got, do your brackets first. And then any order, so order would be if you had, for instance, any squares or cubes or square roots, that type of thing. Then do any division or multiplication. And then do any addition or subtraction. Now notice the division and multiplication on the same level. That's because if you divide by 5, that could be the same as multiplying by 0.2. Uh, so if you've got a sum with just division and multiplication, you work from left to right. If you had a sum with just addition and subtraction, you work from left to right. But if you had, for instance, a bracket and an addition, you would do the brackets first, and then the addition, and then that would be the order. Okay. Or for instance, if you had a squared, and then a multiply, and then an add, you would do the squared, then the multiply, then the add. Let's have a look at some examples now to see what I mean. Let's have a look at that first uh, sum that we had. We had 10 subtract 5 times 2. So there's no brackets. There's no orders. It says then divide and multiply. Well, the, here we've got a multiplication. So we need to do this multiplication first. We're going to do 5 multiplied by 2. So 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. Now what we've done is we've done this 5 multiplied by 2. So we're going to include the rest of the sum in the right order. So here we're going to write in front of our answer of 10. We're going to write our 10 subtract. And then we've got our subtraction. So we're then going to do 10 subtract 10, which is equal to 0. So the answer to this question was 0. Okay, this time we've got the sum 20 divided by brackets 1 plus 3. So we have to do the brackets first, so we're going to have to do the 1 plus 3 first of all. So 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Then include the rest of the sum in the correct order, so then we had 20 divided by in front of it. So we've got 20 divided by 4. And 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5, so the, uh, the answer to our question was 5. This time we've got uh, 5 plus 3 times 4. So there's no brackets, there's no order. There's a multiply, so we're going to do the multiplication first, and then we'll do the addition. So we're going to have to do 3 times 4, so 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And then we have the rest of the sum, which is the 5 plus in front of it. So 5 plus 12 is equal to 17, so our answer is 17. This time we've got 50 subtract 6 squared. Well, we've got no brackets, but we have got an order, we've got squared. We've got no divide and multiply, and then we've got a subtraction. So first of all, we need to do the squared. Well, 6 squared is equal to 36. And then again, we need to include the sum in the correct order. So 50 goes at the front, and then subtract. And 50 subtract 36. 50 subtract 36 is equal to 14. So the answer is 14. And we've got 5 take away 5 plus 5. So we've got no div uh, brackets, no orders, no divide and multiply, and we've just got addition and subtraction. When they're of the same importance or the same order, so addition and subtraction, you're just going to work from left to right. So 5 take away 5 is 0, plus 5 is 5. Let's have a look at this one. We've got 20 multiplied by 2 divided by 4. So again, uh, we have just got divide and multiply, so we're going to work from left to right. So 20 times uh, 2 is equal to 40, divided by 4 is equal to 10. This time we've got something a bit more complicated. We've got 100 subtract 2 times 5 squared plus 1. So we don't have any brackets, but we do have an order. We've got 5 squared. So we need to do 5 squared first of all. So do the rest. Of, write the rest of the sum down in the correct order. So we're going to have 100 subtract 2 times. And then 5 squared is equal to 25 plus 1. Now, we have got a multiplication, so we're going to have to do the 2 times 25 next. So let's write the sum down in the right order. So we're going to have 100 subtract, and 2 times 25 is equal to 50, and then plus 1. Now we've got just addition and subtraction, so we're just going to work from left to right here. So 100 take away 50 is equal to 50 plus 1, and then 50 plus 1 is equal to 51. 